let's get picking and let's get cooking. So always remember, when you pick your tomatoes, they will taste the best in your sauce if they sit one to two days or longer. techniques in order to create one batch of sauce. The three techniques give it the most amazing flavor you'll ever taste in your sauce. So combining these three different techniques and then adding the ingredients to taste, you are going to be happy with me. If you already have a recipe that you love or somewhat love, you may just want to add one of these techniques to that recipe. You may not follow everything I do and you don't have to. All I'd like to bring to you today are some extra techniques and ideas on how to create the most amazing sauce. Let's get started. the tomatoes, the onions, the peppers, toss in. Then when that's done, blend it, throw it into the Nesco. Now I'm going to add ingredients into the Nesco that'll start flavoring it as a really good Italian sauce. I'm 
mixing up all of my techniques and my big old Nesco, now I can go and do whatever I want today because the Nesco I'm going to leave open, I'm going to allow all of that extra moisture to evaporate and then once that's all evaporated, then I'll do my taste testing and see where I'm at. If I feel I need extra ingredients, I'll toss them in, but if not, then it's time to get canning. If you'd like to hurry the evaporation process along, you can go ahead with like a ladle, but go right in the corner and just kind of drop it down a little bit and allow that water to flow in there because you don't want the sauce to flow in there. And then just kind of get rid of it over here. All right, so now all of the water in my sauce has evaporated. I've left just a little bit because you don't want a heavy dry sauce either. So the next step and the final step is we are going to scoop some of this sauce into a smaller food processor because what I like to do is make sure that it is a very fine, almost paste-like sauce. So what I'm gonna do is get some in there, put the top on, all right, and let's mix it. All right, so I already taste tested my sauce and I adjusted it, well not adjusted, I added. I added a little bit of the Parmesan which comes at the end once it's cooler now. And I also added a little bit of extra garlic, sugar, salt, and black pepper. So now, this is where the true taste testing comes in. And this is because once you grind it up so fine and paste-like, that's when all the flavors really, really marinate in there. Mmm, that's good. It's actually perfect. I don't have to add anything else. Let's see what Lana thinks. What do you think, Lana? Good. What do you think, Sayla? Good. Just one. Uh, Sayla, is that good Yeah, I'll get a napkin, don't touch. She likes it. Yeah, I think so, she keeps going for more. Now it's Daddy's turn to try it. All right, Okay, the true, this is the true test. Here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Is that good? Mm-hmm. You're not just Yummy, saying that, that's delicious. You? <laughs> no, it's really good. Yep, that's right, woo -hoo! All right. Very good, huh? All right, who wants mommy to make some pasta with the homemade sauce? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah? I hope you guys have enjoyed my no recipe recipe today. I know that makes absolutely no sense, but you guys know I'm a tosser. I can't come up with the recipe. But now you guys know all the techniques I use, everything I toss in, toss it to flavor for your taste buds, and you will end up with amazing sauce just like I do every year. All righty, happy fall, y'all.